and we are back hello everyone welcome back to five minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks so without wasting any time let's get started today's problem is height of binary tree which is marked as a easy level problem let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so we will be given one node of a binary tree node basically is currently we can say the root of the binary tree and what we have to do we have to return the height of binary tree okay all right so for beginners if you don't know what is a binary tree binary tree basically is a collection of nodes and uh, nodes basically each node can have two children left and right and it can only have maximum only two children one node can have okay left and right all right and uh, yeah basically it's a form of chain key one node has one left children and one right children then that left children has some more children and right has some more children something like this like it has two children and after that this node has only one children in the right and this node has one children also in the right so this is a binary tree okay and now suppose this is as one children in the left as well now again this has one children in the left as well so these are all the binary tree basically each node can have maximum two children so that is a binary tree now what you will be thinking what is the height of a binary tree what is height of binary tree what we have to calculate so here the definition is written very specific the height of a tree is defined as the number of edges on the longest path from the root to a leaf node a leaf node is a node that does not have any children so this node this node and this node these are the leaf nodes because they don't have any children okay all right and basically we have to return the height height basically means um, number of edges you can see number of edges in the longest path longest path so here what is the longest path from root to leaf this is the longest path from root to leaf and it has how many edges one edge two edge three edge three edges are there so i will simply return three okay all right so this is what we have to do i think it's very very simple and uh, what are edges edges basically are the lines which connect two nodes okay so this is what all you don't need to know for this problem and i think the problem statement will be very very clear to you now and uh, let's see it with few examples as well so for this here we can see 12 and it has two children 8 and 18 okay and now 8 has again two children 5 and 11 and 18 has no children 18 has no children okay so uh, we have to find the longest path from root to leaf okay which is the longest path this is the longest path from root to leaf and this is also the longest path from root to leaf okay all right two are the longest path and uh, how many edges are there in each of them two edges this edge and this edge and for this one edge and two edge okay so two two edges are there and uh, yeah a maximum two edges are there so that is the height of binary tree and we will simply return two i think it will be very very clear to you now and uh, now let's think of the approach what we are what we are going to do to solve this problem okay all right the first approach is very very simple i have two approaches for it okay so i'm going to code one approach and one approach you have to code. okay all right so let's think of the first approach the approach is very simple let's quickly move on to one note where i'm going to explain that okay so here i it's very very simple believe me look i am currently at this node one can i say ki yaar, i will say my left children ki tell me your height and for this three tell me your height okay i will ask both of them to tell their height okay all right so uh, this two again will tell its children ki four tell me your height and uh, three basically what three this is three it will say to its children tell me your height okay all right now four does not have any children four does not have any children to it okay so basically what i will say ki yaar four will return what Four will return zero because four does not have any children four does not have any children so four will return zero okay all right and uh, after that from left side i will also get zero okay so look uh, for this children this children height is zero and uh, now two what will two do two will simply add one to the height of four and it will return to its parent so two will return one height 
to its parent it means ki yaar two has one eye it means two has one eye okay all right similarly there are two children six and seven here okay all right so what will six return six will say ki yaar below me below me there are no height there is no height so i will return zero okay and five will also seven will seven will also say ki yaar i also don't have any children so i will also return zero okay so five got two heights with zero zero and now for what five will do pick the maximum of them both are zero so any even he can pick five can pick and after that five will add one to its children height and return so zero plus one one so five will return one here okay five will return one here after that what i will do now what three will do three will say yaar i have two children this is one and it has zero height uh, because it is not it is not it does not have anything so it has zero and three right side children has one height okay one height zero height one is maximum so one what three will do three will simply add one to it one plus one two and it will return to its parent so here it will return two okay now what one will do one will say yaar ki one ch my one children height is one one children height is two so what i will do i will simply add one to the maximum of both heights and return so two is the maximum and i will add one to it so it will become three so i will return three what is the height height is three okay so three is the answer very very simple approach this is it might be looking very typical to you now but the code of it is just done in four lines okay all right so that's what the power of recursion is okay so i think the approach will be very very clear to you ki yaar look one more thing one more thing ki what i am going to do let's quickly write the code as well so let's go write code for this okay all right currently i am at 12 okay so what i will say ki yaar uh, tell me i will say ki left will give me the height of its left children okay so left is basically height again call the same function height but this time with left okay 8 so this time i got 8 okay now for 8 again uh, look here left and right are pending uh, for 8 my left and right are also pending so what 8 will say it will again say ki yaar my tell me my left and right children heights okay so now again uh, recursive recursively i will reach to five node here also left and right are zero for now okay so now what five will say five will say to its mo uh, children ki both are null currently ki tell me your height okay so null basically means no edges no edges okay and uh, so if there is a one only one node if there is only one node its height will be zero because there is no edges present if there is only one node its height will be zero because there are no edges present okay so five height is zero left right okay after that what will happen ki i will simply uh yeah so uh, left and right height are zero what i will say i will simply return 0 to 8 okay so here left height is 0 and right height is also 0 which means ki its right left children height is 0 and its right children height is 0 okay and after that what 8 will return maximum of left comma right plus 1 so it will return 1 here 1 here so left is returning 1 okay after that what right will return look very very simple again it is ki right has only 18 right has only 18 and 18 if if only one if there is no children of any node its height is 0 so i will simply return 0 here with right as 0 what is the maximum of left and right left 1 so simply add 1 to it and return so its height is 2 i think now uh, the approach is crystal clear to you so you can write the code of it as well but i am going to write the code so don't worry and i think the approach is clear so what i will do uh, i will just say ki when i will get null here when i will get null at any point i will return what i will return minus 1 i will return minus 1 okay so left here is minus 1 right here is minus 1 okay and now 5 will return to 8 Like five will add one to it. Now maximum of left and right are both minus one. Add one to it, so it will become zero. In this way, we are going to write it in coding way. But uh, I think it's already clear. I've already explained you. So very very simple it is. If at any point node is null, return minus one. Otherwise, return the maximum of 
left and right and add plus one to it okay all right so this approach is very very simple and we are going to code it as well but there is one more approach which is more easy uh, so what i'm going to say is can i ask you to count the number of levels of any node what are the number of levels here one level two level three level so there are three levels and just return three minus one is equal to two and that's our answer what are the number of levels here one level two level three level four level four levels are there just do minus one and return so its answer will be three this is another approach now you will be thinking how we can count the levels so i have already explained in the previous problem the link is in the come uh, description as well the problem was level order traversal so here there we have already told i already explained to uh, store the nodes in the height i uh, store the nodes uh, level wise something like this like first level second level so what you can do you can instead of storing the nodes you can just increase the count one by one and you will get the answer uh, i will also add this course uh, link in my github you can check there so i think the both approaches will be clear to you and now let's move on to the code section all right let's see the code of it but before that if you have loved the explanation till this point please subscribe the channel and like the video because it will really motivate me a lot and uh, comment down if you will love the explanation or not like okay all right so let's see the code a uh, very very simple it is i've already told if node is equal to null it means uh, there is nothing node is null return minus one okay return minus one because uh, let's suppose five so for five if i will ask its left five left will return me what uh, the left is null so this condition will run and it will return minus one so five left will return minus one 5 right will return minus 1 as well. So here I will get minus 1. And now 5 what 5 will return? 5 will return the maximum of left and right. Both are minus 1. Add 1 to it. So it will become 0. So in this way 5 will return 0. So as I have already told according to this problem if there is only one node uh, it should return 0 height. So that's why we are returning minus 1. So to make our program work. Okay. Alright. Now what I will do otherwise. Very very simple just one line code get the maximum of left and right so let me quickly write it in a descriptive way int l is equal to get the height of node dot left okay and int right is equal to get the height of node dot right and after that return the maximum of left comma right l comma r and add one to it okay so yeah that's it that's it guys let's quickly try to compile this and i hope it will be very very clear to you this code link you will get in my github so like code you will get on my github make sure to check it out and uh, yeah that was it for today let's see if it is getting accepted yes it is getting accepted so we can also write these three lines in one line as well uh, like this so instead of l i will write something like this instead of r i will write something like this and it will also work like this okay so only three lines code is there so make sure to subscribe the channel like the video and also try the second approach which was to count the number of levels i'm sure you will like it as well and that was it for today i'm going to see you again tomorrow till then keep on coding and bye